uh, the flow back. So my name is Sva and I uh, want to tell you about Taler, which uses a lot of crypto, but it is not another cryptocurrency. It's just digital cash um, made socially responsible and um, it's fast and convenient and free and open source, so it's independent one-click one cash payment. Um, in every aspect, Taler is just like cash. So it's a payment system using existing banking infrastructure. Uh, you can pay in existing currencies like dollars, like Bitcoin, and you pay anonymously, And but you can sell by with giving out a bill, which you cannot totally do with all the cryptocurrencies. Um, and it is uh, free and open source. It comes as a GNU package and it has uh, a lot of well-proven crypto. So like cash, I as a customer just withdraw coins from my exchange, um, my bank for example, and then I spend my coins at the merchant who again then can deposit uh, his coins at the bank. So very same way like cash. Um, so here on the bottom you have the same triangle again and on the top you see there's just like a wire transfer layer on top of this. Um, so as a private person I find it nice because it's fast and convenient and I can even also transfer money to friends. Um, as a traveler I appreciate very much that uh, there are no false positives in the fraud detection. Um, also, I like that I get a proof of payment and that I can actually back up my wallet, which I cannot do with my wallet in the meat space, though. Um, it's uh, free and open source, so as a customer, I am uh, happy that there is nothing which I cannot see, like any hidden gadgets, and third parties can verify. Um, and it's private like cash, there is no personal information required, no credit card details, it's just that I can buy anything and just hand over cash, like I'm doing every day all around uh, the world. Um, as a merchant, I also uh, like it very much because it's fast and convenient, um, and also that there is no customer rejected by fraud detection. Um, also, I'm happy that I get signed contracts and I'm especially happy about that I don't have to handle any, any sensitive customer account information, so there's no security audits on my own infrastructure needed anymore. Um, because it is floss, I can integrate it easy and I have uh, competitive pricing and support by that. Um, and it's very ethical, it's not suitable for illegal bus businesses, and it's legal, and it complies with the uh, regulations that are going to come up in the EU, EU for example. Um, seen from both parties, uh, um, we are very happy that uh, it's cheap. Um, so it's cheap and flexible, I can use any amount, I can also use it for very small transactions, which I won't be ever doing for Bitcoin or with credit card. Um, it's stable, the only fluctuation risks I have is the ones of traditional currencies. And um, it's efficient, there's, there's no waste of energy or bandwidth and no inflationary costs of, for the whole economic system like you have uh, with Bitcoin mining. Um, as a taxing government, if I would be one, I would like it because it is free and open source, so it's commons and um, it preserves uh, the independence. It's taxable and reduces black markets. It's efficient, it's secure, and there are no bad banks and uh, it protects me from foreign espionage. So fortunately I'm not a government biotechnologist, so I like it very much that it has very proven old crypto, there's a list here, and uh, that it uses GPL, LGPL, and HGPL, and um, that's uh, a very uh, well-studied university project. So to go on, you can test Tala on demotala.net, you can read the docs, check out the API and the code, you can join Tala on Freenode, you can uh, subscribe the mailing list, um, you can follow Tala on Twitter, and you can help us by just giving feedback, especially on the website we just recently updated. Um, you can tell friends and you can try to establish exchanges in your currency. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, so when you use it, I, I get that the bank doesn't need to be a member of anything or support it. It's just a normal transaction that I can make. Or is yeah. there any technology 
that the bank needs to provide? Uh, the bank needs to, um, you, need the, you mean the exchange one? Is there anything that the bank can do to, to stop this from working? Uh, not really, because the bank's also getting audited very hard. And it also doesn't have to be a bank, so someone like PayPal could also be an exchange point. Okay. No, yeah. My question goes into the direction, could the banks uh, prevent this from happening? Uh, no. I don't, I mean, if no bank likes it, then they could prevent it because we need a bank to actually have okay. exchange points. Now, so. if I have it, we, uh, okay. I think we need to move on to the next okay, talk, okay, okay. and yeah. perhaps the two of you can chat later. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much.